Hi, Pedro. Hi, Peachy Pedro. This little dog right here, this little mongrel. Last night I was walking through the village of Guatape and it was nighttime, it was dark. And this little guy, this little guy showed up behind me and just started walking behind me. And he followed me through the village for about 15, 20 minutes. I stopped and got a cup of coffee at a local um, dwelling to watch a little parade go by. And then the dog was gone. Then I walked about another 20 minutes to my hostel. I'm staying with a bunch of hippies, um, Argentinian hippies who play guitar really, really well. And it's been a blast. Anyway, I get out of the shower and this dog appeared on the porch. No one at the hostel knew the dog. They'd never seen him before. So this dog found me. Uh, I don't know how. I don't know how uh, I'm gonna bring this thing back to the States or on the rest of the trip with me. But the point being is I have a travel companion for the next couple days anyway. See what I mean? Okay, it turns out the dog is a bit of a psycho. It likes to chase motorcycles. Hi Pedro, come on. steps in but hey I can do it I'll get to the top and then I'll go get the dog later Currently I am in a gypsy cab driven by this man and these two fellow turistas, where are you from? Don't Belgium. Ask them. Where? Belgium. Belgium, they're from Belgium. And I am done with the rock. I hiked to the top. It was a little overrated, but you gotta do tourist things once in a while. Now I'm gonna go get the dog. La Pero. Okay, no dog as of yet. Don't know where it is. I got a feeling it might show up again at the hostel. Uh, until then, no dog. Okay, I am back where this adventure began. I got no dog. I do got a new hat. Um, but I'm hoping and, and 
praying a little bit that a perro negro comes to visit me tonight in the uh, uh, Casa Cayam with the Argentinian guitar players. Uh, that's it for, for, for this little story. I hope I can introduce the dog again. Goodbye.